Yeah, so you see here, that was actually pretty simple. Just to say which which little number corresponded to one of these. So yeah, there's a button on two and an LED on 17, so this is hooked up. And that, you know, looks all complicated, but it's really not. So yeah, saying if, but if the button's pressed, print on and then turn the LED on, so we'll start running it. Let's see, off, there you are, off. Press the button, on, and then, there we are. Get in there. So I went out and bought a new little case so instead of keeping everything in this tiny little one size difference you know bought just maybe a little bit bigger one from the range look at this ah oh, it's not bad but i just separate my stuff out some you know some of the bigger things raspberry pi breadboard and mortar shouldn't be in there but i think it's attached to the raspberry pi so my resistors, LEDs, stuff I'm not really too sure other than obviously a button but oh, fuck it, it's black stuff for the motors uh, so fucking SD card is female to well it's female to male um, adapters and then these fucking million and one male to male adapters which I don't really need I need more of these I've only got five of them uh, yeah, but I'll update myself with my progress now. Try to set it all up. Right, here we are, the basis of it all, I guess. So, what I've gone and done is created this new uh, program. Pretty much, um, it's just an API. And then when you call it with uh, on or off, it'll flick the switch off, uh, on or off. I this to some setup shit so hosting it on uh, the network. The set angle sets the angle on on here. So zero being uh, all the way anti-clockwise, so like nine o'clock and 180 being what, three o'clock. So that's what let's see on 180 is about. So it's running at the moment so just imagine this was like a website uh, well there is a website but you know there's buttons on there yeah so I'm gonna choose this to switch on and when I press enter it should move there we are and, and then if I do switch off there we are so all I need to do is maybe get a little bit something 3d printed for the top and I can attach it against the wall, but then flick the light switch on and off. Just from my phone. On my. Uh, yeah, on my phone. We'll see.